Okay, now we're going to find what is the relationship between the radius of the circular path and time of revolution around a massive object. What is that means? I want to derive relation between T and R. So this is the circular path, this is the earth and this is a satellite, yes is a satellite, remember it's a satellite. This satellite revolving around the earth with radius r in circular path and this is velocity v. Okay, I will make it as capital R because I have taken capital R here. Now capital T is the time taken for the satellite to complete one revolution around the earth. So, T equals to time taken to complete one revolution round the earth and R equals to radius or radius of the path I can say or else I can say distance between earth and satellite distance between earth and satellite now how are we going to derive the relationship between t and r if you see here you know that centripetal force is acting towards the earth and the centripetal force is also equal to force of gravity or gravitational force so take this expression centripetal force equal to force of gravity and centripetal force formula we understand that it is m v square by r where m is the mass of the satellite capital M is the mass of the earth we are already know which is equals to gravitational force just now we have derived capital G capital M small m by r square r is the distance between the earth to the satellite okay so here we can cancel small m small m and already we know that v equals to distance by time the distance is 2 pi r by time t why have I taken this expression because I want to find relation between t and r so that's why I have taken v formula as circumference circle divided by time t now this v value substitute here and if you see r r is also cancelled so what you get here v square equal to g capital M by r and substitute v formula here it is 2 pi r by t whole square equal to g capital M by r. Now do let us see more simplification 4 pi square r square by t square equal to g capital M by r. Now what happens take this r to the left hand side it become r cube take t square to the right hand side so you will get 4 pi square r cube carefully see r taken to this side you become r cube equal to gm t square i have taken t square to the right hand side gm t square now r cube equal to take 4 pi square to the other side it comes in the denominator gm by 4 pi square into t square if you observe expression carefully g is constant just now i told you 6.67 10 to the power of minus 11. M is the mass of the earth. Mass of the earth always constant. 4 is a number constant. Pi square is also a number constant. So, whole this expression is constant represented by k. So, r cube equal to k into t square. Now, to remove the constant, what we do in mathematics? We use proportional at symbol. So, we can say r cube is directly proportional to t square. So, it says that the cube of the distance between the satellite to the earth is directly proportional to the square of the time of revolution and that is the relationship between r and t. After finding the relationship between r and t square as r cube is proportional to t square, we can find the time of revolution of a satellite which is rotating around the earth exactly just above the surface of the earth. 
let me find that one so from this expression r cube equal to gm by 4 pi square into t square implies t square equal to r cube into 4 pi square by gm we know the radius of the earth we know the mass of the earth the constant values the substituting the radius of the earth and the mass of the earth and you simplify it then you'll get t value is 84.75 minutes that means the satellite which are just rotating or revolving around the earth at the exactly at the surface of the earth they're rotating they will take 84.75 minutes to complete one revolution so based on this time taken we have we have to apply this particular velocity to the speed so that that velocity given to the satellite and that, sat that satellite will continue to rotate around the earth so this is the this concept taken into consideration when the scientists launch satellite using rockets called PSL PSLV GSLV rockets so we understand that capital G is universal law of the gravitation constant and is applicable for any object in anywhere in the universe. Now we will see the relation between small g and capital G. You know that small g equal to acceleration due to gravity. And capital G is universal gravitational constant. Now, take earth, around the earth, say a satellite is rotating around the earth with the distance capital R. Earth mass is capital M, satellite mass is small m. Account law of gravitation, F equal to capital G, capital M, small m by R square. Law of gravitation. Account in Newton's another second law, we know that F equal to ma. Newton's gravitation is nothing but weight of the body. I am experiencing the force of gravitation because of the earth. And that experience is nothing but my weight. Similarly, satellite weight is nothing but force of gravitation. And satellite weight f equal to m into g which is equation 2 and both are same implies g capital m small m by r square equal to m into g and if you simplify this then you will get g capital m by r square equal to g so this is the relationship between small g and capital g by substituting the mass of the earth radius of the earth g value you can find small g and which is exactly equal to 9.81 meters per second square.